Yo guys, Strock here, and welcome back to Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Picking up right where we left off, we've done two of four trials to get grammar, was it? Sword. Um, and yeah, we're about to start the third one. Let's fucking go. So, so far they've been pretty maze-based. Like, the first one, the rooms would repeat themselves, the second one was I an actual maze. About a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Rip. We gonna we gonna go to this trial or are we just gonna stand and stare at the metal shard? Hello, Senua. What are you doing? Buttons aren't doing anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe it's just like a loading screen or something. Oh. Okay. There's the big thing again. Do we see the tree anywhere? There's the tree. This looks pretty cool. I saw Dillion. Is that him? No, it's just the clouds behind it. But I saw him in the doorway to this building. So I guess that's where our first destination is. But we can't cross that way. Is that an Easter Island head? Hold up. Dum dum, you give me gum gum. Whoa! Hello. Where are we? It's the same. Oh, that's cool. So we can go into like different worlds based on what the faces see. And in this world, the bridge is fixed. That's pretty cool. Right, ooh, there's a focusing thing here. What you got? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison. Sickness. Swear and hope not to harm Thank her son. One by one, Dillian, they each Dillian. make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Right, so my guess is we're going to need to go lower that bridge there look through the head again and we're going to be able to get back up here and maybe through that gate because that gate looks locked at the moment so i guess let's go do that see I, I love all the mechanics in this i know i keep saying it but i really do like when i first heard about this game i thought it was going to be really heavily combat based it's a lot more of a puzzle which, and I, I, I love puzzle games. Like, Portal is one of my all-time favourites. I mean, I know that's really typical, but, you know. Right, so now we can go back down here and up there. Just... The gate is go through the gate. Go through it. I figured it would be. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It Just simple little puzzles like this, you know? Ooh, there's another face. Dillion. Hey, Dillian. You alright, buddy? We're probably gonna lose him. Alright, what's through here? Yeah, but we can get in. Right, so are we gonna need to go in here, explore about, find the rune, and then open it up? 
Oh, that's light. chained. We can't get that open. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Right. I guess it's on the other side of that thing. But I want to see what this has to say first. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. Not in this world. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe. Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. The mi mistletoe. Okay. Um, I don't see how mistletoe can kill somebody, but I'm guessing the remainders of this story will tell us that. But anyway, now this is open, we should be able to go. I suppose we can go back into the dark world. Maybe. And then we can go through again? I probably don't need to go all the way up there. Yeah, if I go look through that one again, behind that gate, then I can get in here, in the dark world, because I can just sort of loop around and go through this door. He's the reason she's alive at all. I think. This, this is just guesswork. Like... It seems pretty intuitive, I think that's the word, like, it just kind of makes sense that this is how it works. So I guess this is what we're going to try. Peek through here, and then we can go in there. Oh, Dillion's in there in the dark world as well, are we going to actually, like, see him? Was the rune thing completely pointless, because we can just go in and out as we please anyway? That's what it's beginning to seem like. No, that's... That's a no-go. You okay, you but there's something down here. Was it worth it? I don't quite know what it is down here, but there is something. Like, look, if you can look through there, the gate is open in the dark world. You broke him, you killed him. He couldn't see the darkness within you. So maybe... I don't know, maybe it is... We've got to find the rune first? I'm really not sure. Right, if we go back in here and we'll have another look. Because it does do the glowy thing around here to be like, yeah, this is where the rune is. Unless it's not what I thought it was. Because I thought it was, like, the gap in the window. It looks like it should be. But maybe it's not? I don't know, let's look around with this, see if it tries to lock on to anything. In a way that nobody else did. I can't see what else we need to do. Like, how else we can get through this. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. Unless it's something down... Oh, the bridge is fixed in this. I don't know if that's relevant or anything, but the bridge is fixed in this. Doesn't look he like there's any kind of rune stuff there, though. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior with Right. I'm gonna try going back into the um into the rain world, dark world, whatever it's called. And have a look again. Because I genuinely have like no idea at all at the moment. Cause 
it was definitely like trapped. We couldn't get in there. Blocked up. The oh, wrong way. Come this far, <laughs> but the bridge is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, Senor? We go to the other bridge and continue trying to make sense of this because I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, normally the runes are pretty easy to find. Not this one. But I'm pretty sure we need the rune before we can go up the stairs. I just have no idea how... Like, why can't we just crouch under there, you know? That seems pretty easy. I have no clue what to do at all. I may cut here and um, bring you guys back when I find out what the fuck it is I'm meant to be doing here. But, I don't know. Oh! Oh! Hello! Wait, hold up. Do you reckon it could be... Do you reckon it could be the light from that? That explains why there's a little viewing thing here. He was the only one there we go. Was... You got it. We've got the rune. Why isn't he here? He's gone. Now we can get He's in here when we're in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. So let's let's switch back worlds. Without you. God, these voices are annoying, eh? We'll switch back into here, and then we can go through the front door. I don't know what the point was of having the other bit open, though. Like... We can just kind of get in here anyway. Hopefully we can open this when we're in the dark world? Yes, yes. Good. Dillian isn't here anymore. Where are you? He's upstairs. Right. Oh, we got a, a way up bridge thing. We got to focus that somehow from some angle. There we go. Right, bridge is fixed. Oh, there's another focus thing here. What have you got to say? You have no chance for love now. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Hoth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Hoth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hoth throws the missile at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hoth is slain. Not really Hoth's fault. Right, so we got two face things here. We got a door that I'm going to open while I can. What's Look through what here though? Ah, okay. And then we can get back on the bridge from up here. So what's going to be different in the light world? Like, there's a there's a light world portal thing here. Oh, okay. Nope. No, I get it. I get it. We're going to need to find those three runes. First off, I'm going to listen to this. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giant. Years had passed since she left her father. Oh God. So many people are talking. She trained hard alongside her friend. Right. So was Did one of them the X thing? She saw things no one else could. Because it looks like that'd Patterns. be the X thing if we get Shapes. it on the right angle. An intuition that made her an exceptional no? warrior. Okay. Sad times. Friendship to um, love. Maybe they'll be in the other world. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. Apparently so. Right. 
We've got one somewhere around here. A future. Just kind of got to see where, I guess. Tearing at her soul. I have no idea. This is giving the symbols for the um. Oh, there it is. Nope, it's the wrong way around. Right. Okay, I kind of see what we got to do. Kind of. Dillion's in the tower. I'm gonna have a look at. I can't hop down there. Of course not. Dillion saved you. But yeah, I'm gonna have a look at what's in around the other side. Now we can access that, and there's another thing here to listen to. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Oh. Truth has stopped talking now. Okay. Um, but now we can get across there. Oh. Hello. Hello. There's one. We got one of the runes. I mean, at least we still have the subtitles for it, I suppose. But yeah, now we can get through here to lower this gate. And then we can go back into the light world and get the hollowed out one that's not an arrow. I have no idea how we're going to get the arrow one, though. That one there, you can see it in the face. I have no idea where the arrow is because I've not even seen anything for that. But, we have this one. Let's this is two of three. Hello. What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing rooms. Again, we're not, we're not hearing Groove. Have I fucked something up? What if they don't actually make sense? Right. Anyway, maybe it's something down here. I hope the gods aren't just playing with me. That'd be a kind of dick move. Arrow, somewhere around here. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language. You don't understand. Zinbel was right. I see no arrow. Anywhere. Oh, wait. Wait. We got a little bit of Druth there as well. And then we can do this. Open the door. And we should be able to go back, fix the bridge, and go along it, I guess? Unless we can just go along to where he is now. Oh, maybe we're going to need to balance our way across. Yeah, it looks like we will. Delian! Right. I hate the balancing thing. You cared for the underworld. Then look dimly upon the druids, like our father, Zinbel. You can do it. I guess he took after his father, the chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, learned to see the world through his eyes, and slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly. This is so tense. I'm kind of leaning myself every time Senna was leaning. I, I, I both love and hate these balancey bits. Give me a hug. I want to hug Dillian. No! That's not a hug. 
Oh. Well, we got another achievement. Different perspectives. And then that comes with the conclusion of the third trial. Your father cannot understand your darkness. Wait, is this Dillian? Do we actually see his face now? See through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world thing. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. That's cool that we actually get to see what Dillian looks like now. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. You've done it. You did it. The warrior trials. You need that sword. Yeah, there were four. Why are they telling me to get the sword? There was another one. With grammar reforged. You will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. Is this and one? It is blue. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. I guess so. I guess it is four, even though everybody seems to be saying it's done. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to need to call the episode here, because I don't think we've got time to do this final trial. So we'll leave that for next episode. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get the sword and everything, and we can continue on our path to go fucking murder Hela, or whatever it was we're planning on doing to get Dillian back. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is, just that we're going to try and get him back. It's cool that we actually get to see him now, though. Like, we actually saw his face. I don't know, maybe that's because we're now getting closer to him. That she's... Like, because he was just a silhouette of light. I know it's not a silhouette, because silhouettes are, like, black, but... I don't really know what other way of describing it. But yeah, he's just been that for most of the game. And a disembodied voice. Now that we can actually see him... I don't know, I guess it means something, that we're one step closer to finding him, that Senua, Senua is maybe a bit more confident that she can do it. I don't know. I look forward to finding out, though. But anyways, like I say, I'm going to have to call the episode here, I'm afraid. So, thank you guys for watching. I have been Strark, and this has been another episode of Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. I'm getting a lot more confident with my pronunciation of Senua, and I don't even care if I'm pronouncing it wrong anymore. And I'll see you all in the next video. Sayonara!